Hello everyone, Anna from Amy Dear Life. Welcome. So today's video I'm going to be doing about the GoToMeeting mobile app tutorial. I've done a tutorial guide on the GoToMeeting desktop version. So this will be on the mobile app. So stay tuned to this video. I will show you a quick tutorial guide to get yourself started and as well all the features it has to offer. But before we go, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up down below and as well click that red subscribe button with that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date when I launch my next videos. So let's head on over to the computer screen everyone after the intro. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside your worries, it's okay now. The sun is here to stay. Okay, everyone, so we're over here at the computer screen of the mobile app version. Okay, so what you're gonna do, if you don't already have, you're gonna go to, if you have an Android or an iPhone, go to your Play Store on an Android, like the Google Play Store, and you'll go find the GoToMeeting app. Once you have that, either start your free trial or just sign in if you already have an account. And then what it will do, it will bring you to this over here. So I'll show you how to join a meeting. So if you had the um, meeting ID or the name, basically you would put it in over here and then you would click join right over here. If you click on this button right over here, this is just basically um, scheduling a meeting. So here's a new meeting. You will put in the um, meeting subject. So let's say Anna's meeting. And then over here, you have it's a one-time meeting. You can schedule the date, um, the time, the start, the end, and so forth. And just fill in all these demographics. And then when this is done, you would click this. And then basically that would be your new meeting scheduled. So over here, over here, as you can see, it says upcoming and the meeting that I've created. And it's right over here. The three little stars, if you were to click on them, it just basically tells you you can start with internet audio, start with phone audio, start in commuter mode. The commuter mode is basically just audio only. That's for the purpose of that you're driving, that you're not distracted with anything, just audio only. Um, and then over here you have details and as well you can share. So if you were to click on share, it would basically ask you from your contacts who you would like to share that with. Okay, so that was schedule a meeting. This was to join a meeting. Um, over here is your calendar. If you go down, scroll down, and then you can you can press this to connect to your calendar. So if I press connect calendar, um, you have to allow it access. And then that's that. Over here is your settings button. If you went into settings, and this is just basically things that you can enable and disable, um, like do not disturb mode, notifications, reminders, calendar sync, and so forth. Okay, right here, the three dots up top to your right, that's just the about go to meeting help and feedback. This over here is your, if you were to press it, allow, then what it will do is we'll search for rooms um, um, nearby, you know, that you can connect to. So let's just X out of that for now. If you clicked on this little human icon over here, that is just your account. See over here, it says your trial um, expires in 14 days. If you were to try the trial, if you were to try the trial option, um, or if you already had it, then this is it. This is just to basically, you can um, get into this to set up your room. You can click on this, the edit, that will just edit your information. Okay, so if you wanted to quickly just um, host a meeting, you would click over here on meet now. Um, do you want to start the meeting? Um, meet now, start. I will also leave the link to my desktop version tutorial in the description below. What it will ask you over here is allow GoToMeeting to record audio. You can allow it or not. Let's just say allow. And there you go. So. Um, this is your platform. Over here is your meeting ID number. You are the organizer, Anna, in my case. Over here, if you clicked, if you click that, that's just basically to share. So you can copy meeting link or you can copy meeting info or you can send an invitation. So let's click on send an invitation and then it will ask you for you to pick whomever you want to join as a participant. 
over here, if we click back again, you can copy the meeting link. So if you press that, see it says um, copied meeting link to your clipboard, and then you could choose whatever platform you like um, to send it off that way, whether um, it be an email or whatever platform of your choice you would like to send that invitation to. Okay, so that's basically the share. This is your commuter mode again. Over here, if you were to click the two little human icons, it's just basically your attendees um, slide. Um, over here, here you are, you are the organizer. And then over here would be your list of all attendees. If you wanted once again to add, you can just click that plus human icon sign. And once again, it would bring up uh, whichever platform um, or contact list you want to choose to, um, to invite attendees part of this meeting. So that is your attendees. If we go back over here is your chat box. So you can chat with everyone or organizer only. So if you clicked, let's pretend I'm going to click everyone over here. It's a, like a chat text messaging board. So over here you can write, um, hello everyone send it off and then every, it's visible to everyone over here. That's basically like your chat text box. That's pretty self-explanatory. So if I go back, okay, so those are your icons up top. This is share, this is your meeting ID. Over here, the three dots to your left, if you open, open that up, press it, it gives you audio options, edit your info, help and feedback, and then once again, to send an invitation. So if you click, let's pretend on audio options, gives you the options you can optimize to your own. Those were kind of like your options. Over here to the right is your video. You can enable it or disable it. I just have it turned off for the purpose of this recording. This is your microphone audio. Same thing. If you were to click it, you'd enable it. This is your screen sharing. If you were to click it, it would go green and over here it would go orange and basically um, that the screen sharing is in progress. For some reason, it's not allowing me to kind of show you guys because when I do, I lose the link between the phone and the computer and the screen recording. So unfortunately, I can't show you that, but that's basically all it was. If you'd click this, the button would go green, you'd allow access to it, and then that's how the screen sharing would look like. Over here to your right is your end meeting. Are you sure you want to end the meeting? There you are, you have ended the session. Sometimes when you end your meeting, it asks you a quick little survey, just like a one question that comes up from time to time. There you have it, everyone. That is just a quick tutorial guide to my go-to meeting mobile app. I showed you how to join a meeting, how to host a meeting, and how to schedule a meeting. It was short and sweet, but it's meant to be like that. It's a mobile app. It's meant to give you quick access and to get the job done. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up down below, and as well, click that red subscribe button with that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date when I launch my next videos. Take care, everyone. Till next time. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay